Lab TV travels to Los Angeles, California, where scientists at the Institute for Creative Technologies are creating mixed reality worlds for the Army. It's called the Flat World Immersive Environment. Flats are walls that are used as building blocks on movie sets, but in Flat World, these walls are digital, and they're combined with real props. What we're doing here is combining digital flats, the rear projection screens with real-time graphics and the physical props to create our immersive environment. We also call it a mixed reality because we combine the virtual with the real. Uh, so we have a rear projected um, screen behind me that's depicting an outdoor marketplace and we have a number of physical props and that's where the mixed reality comes into play. So instead of just looking at a screen and trying to pretend as if you're there, your whole body gets involved and you're able to actually feel as if you're in the space where a flat world a system is taking you. So I feel like I'm in this marketplace. When you feel like you're immersed in a place, then it's easier to learn from that experience and you can remember things a lot better. What we want to do is to be able to train soldiers so that they feel they are truly present in these environments before they might be deployed. And these flat world environments would be great for all kinds of learning. We're limited really only by our imaginations in terms of what we can depict in the system, what kind of experiences we can deliver. Maybe we could meet Benjamin Franklin. Maybe we could walk into his study. We could travel to a molecular level. You know, we could teach chemistry by being at the level of an atom. Flat World is different from most virtual reality environments where people wear head-mounted displays kind of like goggles. What we've done here is we've removed the head-mount display out of the picture and participants literally move through and are in the physical spaces. In Flat World, they can add all the sounds of the city and make it seem like daytime or nighttime. They can also add things you can feel or smell. They call these 4D effects. So we can make it warm in this room and we could raise the temperature to over 100 degrees if that were necessary. Maybe uh, the street will smell like oil. We can add those smells to the environment um, and that will make you feel as if you're actually there. Flat World uses real-time graphics so you can interact with the virtual people on the streets. And what makes it really cool is that they can also see you. That's done with the system's infrared cameras. So we have infrared light sources that are painting me with infrared light right now, which make it easy for those cameras to pick up on my position in the environment. In having a mixed reality environment, it also makes possible the ability for the cameras to react to your physical movements and inform the characters of what those movements are. So on the screen here, you're seeing an example of four camera positions, um, which are in the quadrants of the screen there. So, And they are using the infrared light to try to match me. So if I start moving or if I spread my arms out, it will try to track my position and then uh, figure out which way I'm facing and then use that information to tell characters or other things in the environment uh, where I'm at. And wouldn't it be fun to have a flat world of your own? So the future of Flat World, I think, is that they're now producing projectors that are about the size of your cell phone. As those become more available and less expensive, you could create a Flat World experience in your own home. To find out more about Flat World, ICT, and other cool Army research projects, check out labtvonline.org.